What is going on Adventure Nation? You can't visit the Florida Keys without seeing Key West. So in this episode, we do just that. This is the Motorhome Experiment. What are you doing? You're moving this all. Oh, sorry. It's been a while. Since what? Since we've picked up a camera. Do we even know how to do this? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like fish out of the water. Yeah, absolutely. So we are down in the Florida Keys and we are finally going to make a day to head down into Key West, Florida. And we're going to hang out with my daughter and son-in-law and grandkids for the day. So. This should be fun. Oh, by the way, we are in Sunshine Key RV Resort. And so we're about, what, 45, 46 miles, something like that? There's my feature coach. Lori's ogling the Newmar New Air. In your dreams, Lori. I'm gonna make it happen. What's you up, gang? Outside. The other way, the other way. Remember, there you go. What's happening? What's, up? What's going on? You guys doing all right? Yep, There's the yep. crew heading off to to Key West today. For the first awesome, time. awesome! I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. The Florida Keys are a coral cay archipelago located off the southern coast of Florida, forming the southernmost part of the continental United States. The word key is derived from the Spanish word cayo, meaning small island. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get this straight. There was a Spanish guy and an English guy having a conversation, and the Spanish guy went, Cayo. And the guy said, huh? I, Cayo. I, Cayo. Ah, oh, screw it. Key. The Keys begin at the southeast coast of Florida, about 15 miles south of Miami, and then they extend in this gentle arc down to the south and west, and they end up in Key West. We have made it down here into Key West. We're out at the pier. You can see there's a carnival ship in town. The whole gang is here. Check it out. Their first time in Key West. Woo! They're checking out the pelicans and stuff here. The water is that beautiful turquoise color. I don't know if that comes out on camera, but just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous out today. So what do you think of Key West so far? Hot and annoying. Hot and annoying? Well, you, you, like, you didn't like the roosters? We are wandering around in downtown Key West, looking for some food. We got some hungry folks on the group, so food it is. We're gonna head across the street here and see if we can't find something that gets everybody's appetite quenched. We have just finished with dinner. Lunch, I guess that is. Hi. And now we're gonna walk around a little on Duval Street. Hi. Got these crazy kids with us. And Ice I've got, cream. and we've got this crazy kid with us too. Yay! Drinking water in Key West. Yes. 
Well, that's drinking water now in Key West. There's something wrong with this picture. <laughs> oh, a bar named after my daughter. <laughs> there goes Johnny checking in at the Red Garter Saloon. Why do you have to be so tall? Like... Oh, sorry. You guys ready for the train? Yes. Cool. Yes. Excited. <laughs> it was like from here up. <laughs> the Keys were originally inhabited by the Calusa and Tequesta tribes and were charted by none other than Juan Ponce de Leon in 1513. De Leon named the islands Los Martires, the Martyrs, as they looked like suffering men from a distance, allegedly. The Conk Train is an awesome way to get some of the history of Key West and an overview of some of the areas that you may want to see on the rest of your visit. The conch train ride is over. Now we're out here at the sunset party and everybody's out here partying. Check this out. These guys are partying. Are you ready for the sunset, Lori? I am. This is kind of like pretty empty right now. It'll pack up a little bit more. It will. A few days after spending the day in Key West with my, my daughter, son-in-law, and grandkids, we got to head back into Key West with our good friends Craig and Kelly, and we were going there to jump on a boat and head out to the Dry Tortugas, which is an absolute fantastic spot to go. It's a national park, and I highly suggest you do it. But I definitely believe you should ask Lori one day if you get to meet her about how we almost didn't make it. Right, Lori? We are up early this morning. People actually get up at this time of day on purpose. Today we're heading out to the Dry Tortugas. This is something we've wanted to do for a long time. Eat my bucket list, eat my bucket list. You might remember these guys from a previous water adventure when we were in Tahoe. Hey. And we're going on another water adventure today out at the Dry Tortugas, so it should be cool. We, we have to walk over to the ferry building and we take a ferry out to the dry tortugas, so should be cool. Okay, we are heading down the ramp to the boat. The Yankee Freedom here. And we avoided a near disaster. Somebody, I won't say who it was, but she might be getting on the boat right now. She booked the wrong dates, but uh, we were able to get on. So, Lorena actually booked us for 
2021. That would normally be my thing. So luckily we got on by standby. Yes. So that's a good. The Yankee Freedom 2 cruises at approximately 27 to 30 knots, so the ride out to the Dry Tortugas is about 2 hours and 15 minutes depending on weather. We highly recommend you take some Dramamine or some other drug if you are prone to getting sick on a boat. All right, Laurie, what are your first, so this first thoughts? The color of the water, the ribs, is just so cool looking. The last time we tried to come up to the Dry Tortugas, we couldn't get on a boat because they were booked up yeah, and cool. and it was windy. It was windy, so the plane wasn't a good idea to come out here. It's really, really cool though. So this this has been on our bucket list for a long time. It almost didn't happen today. I know, totally my fault. I was in the wrong year, in the wrong month, and in the wrong day. <laughs> <laughs> So other than the wrong day, month, and year, Lori like... booked us for January 4th of 2021. Well, I just saw a Monday and it said like the third fourth, and I knew it was third fourth, it was 2021, so. And today is February 4th, Monday, February 4th of 2020, obviously. Yes. I think she had too much wine when she was booking. I don't think so. I think I was, I was just not paying attention, people. Obviously. Obviously, but it's the first time that has happened. Luckily, we're here. So just kind of like pro tip, if you get there in line, and even though you don't have reservations, but get early, they will put you on a waiting list. And at the very, very end, and there's no shows like it happened today. Today they have what, 10 or? They had 10 no shows. 10 no shows, we were able to get in. But the, the closest you get to the number, like the first five spots on the waiting list, you have a very good chance to get in. Yeah, we were literally the last four people yes. uh, on the boat. And I think they even squeezed in one they extra they because they told us they three. had three spots, but they brought four of us and on. We're so we're like, Kelly's skinny. We, she we lucked take out. Much room. Yeah. <laughs> It just, uh, yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't a lot of fun, but, but we made it. Here. So let's check it out. That's all forgotten now. <laughs> let's go up here. Construction on Fort Jefferson began in 1846, and although it has a storied history, it was really never completed. Fort Jefferson is the largest brick masonry structure in the Americas, composed of over 16 million bricks. The building covers 16 acres.
Imagine 33 people in this boat coming 100 miles over from Cuba. That's crazy. What do we got in here? Holy smokes, how cool is this? didn't have my camera with me a minute ago so we're gonna head back out into the water and uh, check out some fish do some snorkeling Lori's already out there Craig's already out there let's go find some fish That was awesome. A little swim along the wall. Then we jumped up on the wall, walked back, and it's about time to get out of here. Hopefully you can hear me. There's not too much water in the mic. That was really, really cool. You're not allowed to swim on this side of the moat. Only on the outside, but that was still pretty cool. All right, we are back from Fort Jefferson. We're back on the ferry, and we are done with the dried tortugas. What do you think? Pretty amazing, I have to say. The color of the water is just very. Bohemian. What about the bohemian? Bohemian. 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 Yeah. Bohemian. What about the temperature of the water? Ooh, cold. Cold. <laughs> we, I needed a wetsuit. We were just yeah, talking when you needed a wetsuit. <laughs> what do you think of your snorkeling adventure, guys? Awesome. Yeah, some great fish we're to be seen for sure. Very cool. Ready for the two and a half hour boat ride back? Yeah. For yeah. a half. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in dock. It's over. Hey. We survived. Nope. And not a single one of us tossed our cookies. For you foreign people don't know what that means, means. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked our quick look at the Florida Keys and specifically Key West. We will have more from the Florida Keys in our next episode, but that's all we have for you for today. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means you have to hit that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks, guys. See ya.